China's economy has surged following the dismantling of zero COVID restrictions, but youth unemployment has stayed high. The overall urban unemployment rate in China is improving, but joblessness among 16 to 24-year-olds is bucking that trend. Why has youth unemployment risen so much in China? China's had some economic challenges recently. So youth unemployment is running at 20.8%, ticking up just slightly from the prior reading. Furthermore, if we dig a little bit in some of the economic data, we can see some signs that aren't as positive as they initially seem. So say, for example, we're looking at retail sales or retail expenditure. Well, that's up 12.7% year on year. Now, that sounds like a very high level. However, we need to temper this with the other data that's going on with it. For example, in the prior reading, retail sales was up 18.4% year on year, suggesting that retail sales growth has slowed down. It's still a high number, but it's slowed down. Now, this is to some extent noticeable because retail sales had dipped in 2022 versus 2021, suggesting that China is still struggling to get back toward where it was in 2021 and rebound from those lockdowns. Furthermore, industrial output, well, it only grew 3.5% year on year. And this is despite the fact that China has now emerged from lockdowns as compared to 2022 when lockdowns were really weighing on industrial output. So you're looking at these factors and these suggest that China's rebound from zero COVID hasn't been quite as rapid as China would have liked. And tellingly, we can see what China is doing with its policy rates. That was recently cut from 2.75% to 2.65%, suggesting China is trying to stimulate the economy. We've also seen China relax some of its triple R requirements, again, in an attempt to get more lending going into the economy to generate more economic growth. Now, in terms of what's driving this, well, a large part of this could be that consumers simply were relatively cash strapped after a couple of years of zero COVID. After all, during zero COVID, there wasn't that much government support for individuals. And as a result, when individuals are emerging from zero COVID, they don't necessarily have the cash buffers that we had in the United States or in Australia. Hence why people are feeling poorer at the moment, which is weighing on retail sales, which in turn weighs on employment. And hence why we're seeing youth unemployment being so high. And potentially it is going to get worse as people are graduating from college and then they enter into the workforce. So youth unemployment seems like it is going to be stubbornly high for the near future anyway.